this video, we'll go over the administration and scoring for AIMSWeb Plus measures. While assessment environment are flexible, keep these points in mind. Testing should take place in an area that is quiet and free from distractions. A set-aside place that is in the classroom or a station in the media center, cafeteria, gym, or empty classroom are approaches that have been used by others before. Eliminate eavesdropping and practice effects by testing students away from other students. Try to have the same examiner test students at each administration during the year. Younger children tend to perform better with a familiar examiner. It's also important to test the students at the small table or a corner of a large table so that their attention is on what they're supposed to be doing and not what you are doing on your computer or device as you score. Student test materials are required for all early literacy, early numeracy, and oral reading fluency measures. Stimulus materials must be downloaded from the Ames Web Plus system and printed. Once a test form is printed, it may be used as a master and can be photocopied as needed. Please be sure to keep the master and all copies in a secure place before and after use. Each student's performance is recorded in a digital record form using a computer or electronic tablet. The digital record form includes all the instructions you need for administering the measure to students, including what to say to the students and correct and incorrect response information. The digital record form will guide examiners through the appropriate screens via computer. Scores are automatically generated when the student responses are submitted to Ames Web Plus. Aside from the printed stimulus package for the students, examiners will not need any printed materials to administer and record scores for a test session. The digital record forms also have a built-in timer so examiners will not need stopwatches. All Ames Web Plus measures are standardized. Adhering to the standardized administration and scoring rules will help ensure that the data you collect is reliable and valid. Therefore, it is crucial that you administer the measure the same way each time. This includes reading the exact standardized directions and adhering to the exact scoring rules during the administration. To avoid violation and standardization, do not teach or correct the student when you are testing. Remember, this is about assessing students, not teaching. It's important that students are not able to view the measures before they are assessed with them. Therefore, the measures should not be used for practice or homework and should not be sent home. To avoid practice effects, try to make sure that the testing environment is far enough away from other students as to eliminate eavesdropping. During the universal screening, no rulers, guides, or other manipulatives are permitted. These types of things were not used during standardization of the measures and thus are not permitted. If a test session is spoiled, for example, the testing is interrupted during the administration of any of the timed fluency measures, examiners may re-administer the same test form to the student. It is suggested that the examiner waits a few days before re-administration to minimize the potential for practice effects. There are various accommodations that are allowed and not allowed during the administration of Ames Web Plus measures while benchmark screening. Speed plays an important role in the time fluency measures, thus certain accommodations cannot be used without invalidating the norms. The following accommodations are allowed for screening. Enlarging the test format, modifying the environment with special lighting, furniture, and student positioning. Accommodations that are not allowed are extending the accommodation or the administration time, providing feedback during administration beyond what is specified, providing practice administrations, and having students preview or pre-read the measures. During progress monitoring, other appropriate accommodations may be made as long as they are applied consistently each time the measure is administered. Accommodations should be well documented so that it is clear that they were used. It's important to know that a comparison of other students' progress monitoring scores to the national norms may not be appropriate due to these accommodations. Continue on to the specific batteries to learn more about administration and specific scoring rules.